So in the previous video, uh, we left off uh, going over the symbols for circuit components. Uh, this was the variable power supply. The next is a light bulb. So for a light bulb, I'm going to use a circle with a loop the loop inside of it. Or something easier to draw is a circle uh, with an X uh, inside of it. Okay, so that's going to be the symbol for a light bulb. And now a resistor. Uh, so this is a kind of a zoomed in picture of a resistor. Uh, they're really small components uh, in real life. And what they do is they resist. Uh, they resist the current uh, flowing through a part of a circuit. They slow it down. And then less energy will get to uh, whatever component you're trying to run in that part of the circuit. Okay, because sometimes you have a battery and the battery gives so many volts. And then uh, some parts of the circuit needs all those volts. Other parts you want it to be a bit lower. So then you're going to add resistors to those parts to... Uh, decrease the energy that goes to a certain component. The diagram symbol for that is zigzags. Okay, just a few zigzags and that's a resistor. Then we have a switch. So you may have used switches in grade 9 when building circuits. A uh, switch just has two, uh, two uprights here that are made of metal. And then there's a bar that can connect them or uh, it can be disconnected. So right now it's disconnected. We say it's in the open position because there's a gap of open space here. Electricity will not be able to go across uh, because of this gap of air. But when you take this and you push it down um, and you connect everything uh, with this metal bar here, then, uh, then everything's connected with a conductor and the charges can go through. Uh, so that's what a switch does. It's something that will easily allow you to, uh, to cut off the electricity or to reconnect it in part of a circuit. So the symbol for that would be two dots. Uh, the two dots represent these two uprights here. And then a bar uh, that will draw diagonally in a circuit diagram. Uh, this represents this bar right here. Uh, it can be closed or opened. So this is what a switch looks like in a circuit diagram. And finally, we have ammeters and voltmeters. Uh, ammeters are for measuring the amps going through a part of a circuit, uh, whereas voltmeters measures of the volts. So the, the diagram symbols are fairly straightforward. An ammeter is a circle with a capital A written inside. And a voltmeter is a circle with a capital V written inside. And uh, oftentimes electricians will have multimeters, uh, which one, one of them looks like this. A multimeter can do both jobs of an ammeter and a voltmeter. Um, there's this dial here with all these options and settings. So you can set it to measure whatever you want it to measure in the circuit. So we'll talk more about uh, current and voltage in later lessons, uh, and we'll use these in later lessons, not really for uh, the, the work for this lesson, though. So the goal of this lesson is to be able to interchange between words, circuit diagrams, and constructing circuits uh, using the virtual circuit kit, because we're not at school, so uh, we're not actually going to build them with our hands. Um, we're going to go on this FET website, which I showed you on the previous video, where you can drag and drop various circuit components. Um, here's a resistor, and here's a switch. Okay, the switch, when you click it, you can open it and close it. Um, so this is what you're going to be using to build circuits. But anyway, uh, you're expected to be able to take some words. So in purple here, I've written in words a description of a circuit. And you're expected to take those words and be able to draw the circuit diagram that matches those words using the proper circuit symbols. And then you're also expected to be able to build the circuit um, using the simulation. And vice versa. So I can start by giving you a circuit diagram. I can expect you to build the actual circuit in the simulation. 
or to describe the circuit for me in words using the proper terminology. Okay, and finally, I can give you a built circuit and ask you to draw the circuit diagram for it, ask you to describe it in words. Okay, so I'll let you read through this example on your own. These slides are available on Google Classroom. Uh, you want to read it and see how this diagram matches exactly what it says here. And same with this, um, this picture here. You want to see how it matches exactly what this diagram shows and exactly what these words say. So there's a Google Doc um, that's got a few practice questions for this. Uh, when you make diagrams, you'll have to take pictures as usual and upload them. Um, I mean, you could try to draw them on the computer. It, it, it will take a lot of time, though, to get these zigzags and these light bulbs and all of that. It might be better if we just draw by hand and take pictures. With the simulation, you can use the uh, website uh, you can use this website here and just take screenshots. You know, take screenshots and uh, upload those pictures. All right, so that's it for this lesson.